Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah, Associate Professor at Vikas College of Physiotherapy, MPT, Ortho and Sports. So my dear friends, this is the case of hip dislocation and hip fracture. I showed you the x-ray, you found out that there is a dislocation but we couldn't find whether the fracture is there or not and that is why we are going to find out how to read MRI scanning for hip fractures. So the first view we are going to check is a transverse view. Now, now the question comes how to identify whether this is transverse, sagittal or vertical view. So for that we have to look at the scan where we can find out that there is a clearly seen vertebral body as well as if we just go next pictures on this slide we can see that there is sacrum as well as we can see the ilia crest. Right? So that always is visible when you are looking from up to down and which is in your transverse view. Now this view, we are, as we can see in the first row, we can see most of the bony particle which is like a vertebral body. We can see some of the spinous process, transverse process. After that we can see the iliac crest and we are not able to see the hip joint yet. But as we can move downward, we now can see that there is a visibility of acetabular cavity. Slowly we can see the head of the femur coming up and now as we go forward in the slides we can see that head of the femur is fractured we can see the fragment very clearly over here and also we can note that head of the femur is also moving posteriorly which again confirms that yes there is a posterior dislocation of the femur along with there is a fracture of the head of the femur. So my dear friends, this is how we can identify this hip fracture in the transverse view. Only thing, yes, definitely one more thing if you have must notice that along with this bones, we can also see the surrounding muscular structures. Like in the first few pictures, we can clearly see the, all the gluteus muscles, gluteus maximus, as well as hip flexors, as well as gluteus medius. And as we go down, we have more clear identification of the bone, acetabular cavity and the femur. Now let's move to the another view of the MRI where we again confirm that fracture is present and there is a posterior dislocation. Now this view is taken from the anterior side. In this view we can more mainly see how we can identify whether it is anterior or posterior. So we can clearly see here ASIS anterior superior iliac spine from where there is origin of sartorius muscle. So here we can see a sartorius muscle originated from that and now we are going to move from anterior to posterior. So as you go down see the next pictures in the same slide we will see that this is moving from the lateral side. So when we come to the lateral side now we can have clear look at the hip joint. We can see that from the acetabular cavity there is a femoral head and there is a fracture present in the femoral head. So now my dear friends we can again identify that yes there is a fracture present in the femoral head and this is how we can read MRI very easily and comfortably with this much basic knowledge. Now I have one small question for all of you. Can you tell me which view this is whether it is T1 weighted, T2 weighted or still images? If you can identify this correctly do let me know in the comment section that which view this is. And if you don't know how to identify this, don't worry, I have just made a previous video about how to know whether this is T1 weighted, T2 weighted or still images. You can watch that video from this link. In next video of this series, I am coming up with another joint, another pathology, another tissue injury. So stay tuned with PhysioTrends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do subscribe for more updates and regular videos.